Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash. Season 7, we're going to be talking about the panel yesterday and what was said, because there's some interesting stuff that was confirmed, mainly teased. We'll talk about that and everything in today's video, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so yeah, yesterday was DC Fandom. The second part of DC Fandom is coming in September, in the second week of September. So be on the lookout for that because there'll be more coverage because you got Superman and Lois. I plan to cover that. Maybe they'll release something there. Also, you got the new Batwoman panel with the new Batwoman, Jafisia Leslie. So there's a lot of stuff coming in DC Fandom Part 2. So second week in September, look out for that. I'll be covering it, don't you guys worry, so turn on notifications if you haven't done that yet. But anyway, so yeah, the first part of DC Fandom was yesterday, we had the trailers from many films and everything like that, Batman was amazing, go check out my video yesterday when I reacted to it. Also, you had the Flash film, we got some confirmations, I made a video yesterday talking about the Flash Season 7, and the fact that, you know, in the actual Flash film that is coming up in the next few years in 2021, it's actually confirmed that Barry Allen in that film was influenced to call himself The Flash from Grant Gustin's The Flash in Crisis on Infinite Earth. So that was crazy, crazy news. Go check out those videos yesterday. Also, I broke down the trailer for season seven that was released along with this panel. So yeah, both of those videos and the Batman one went up yesterday. So it was a busy day, three videos in one night. But yeah, so today we're gonna to be talking about the panel and what was said in it. Like I said, I think most of the stuff in the panel was actually very much so non-spoilery. It was very teasery. Like, they said some stuff, but they didn't get into detail because it was heavily edited down. Because if you guys didn't know, the panel was pre-recorded. It was probably a lot longer than this, or at least like 5-10 minutes longer, and they cut down to the main points. So you could tell that they were just cutting back and forth. So I guess the panel was very good, but it was nowhere near as good as like a sort of 45 minute long panel that you have at San Diego Comic Con, because they are the best things to go to. If you guys have been to Comic Con, you've seen a flash panel. They're very different and they're so talkative and they didn't get much to say in this. But apart from the fact that it wasn't super, super in depth, there was some interesting stuff said. The first thing I want to talk about in regards to what was said at the panel is to do with Godspeed. Because they talked about Godspeed, they talked about the idea of who they want the villain to be. And so there is a quote and I found the quote online and this was Eric Wallace, the showrunner, talking about how he incorporated Godspeed into the show before, like in season 6, there was the lingering mystery and yeah, that mystery is going to continue into season 7 of Godspeed and this is the quote. I want to make sure that new fans, especially new young fans who are reading the comic books right now, are welcome to the show. So it's not just Silver Age villains and Bronze Age villains, there might be a young girl or boy reading those flash books right now going, where are my villains? Where are my generation's villains? And so that is where Godspeed comes in. And that was one of the reasons they brought him in. Also, he's just a great character in the comics. And I know for a fact Eric is very much so into comics. So he knows his stuff. And I trust him. I think you guys trust him. I think he's one of the best showrunners we've had in a long time. He's very confident in what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he likes. And I think he's going for what he likes more so than you know listening to anyone higher up so i think it's a really good showrunner right now i think eric's doing a great job so i really like this quote i think this was the best bit in the panel because he talked about like the fact that yeah maybe we don't want to include those villains you know who were so long in the past what about the people today so i think that's very considerate and i think it's a great reason to have godspeed in the show because you know he is a contemporary villain he is the contemporary Flash villain of right now, like if you've read any of the new comics of Flash Rebirth, Godspeed sort of started that run and you know, that's where it kind of started so I think it's a great thing the past few years have been very Godspeed centric, like you know, four years or something like that from now, you know, we're in 2020, I think it was like 2016 when Rebirth came out, I remember reading it and being like, wow, Godspeed is so cool. 
and you know I want to see him on the TV show and when he came he was really good but they didn't do much with him but then Eric came on board and I think Eric did a really good job with setting up this mystery at the end of this season so I thought that Godspeed episode the last one was just so so good and I can't wait to see what happens next so yeah Godspeed is confirmed to be at least a part or a big part of the Flash season 7 because Eric wants to continue that and to continue to bring in these newer villains and to you know I guess bring in the contemporary comic book stuff okay so let's move over to the next thing so there was mention of the gold boots and so the gold boots have been something that we've been wanting for a long while something that the fans have been asking for and this would be a suit upgrade for Barry I don't know personally if I want to see that because you know it could look a bit too cartoony but at the same time I think I would because I trust the costume designers even though I didn't like you know the suit before this new suit so you know the season 5 suit wasn't very good and they fixed it they put the strap back on and all the suits before that the season 1, 2, 3, 4 suit they're all really good they are some of the best suits ever so you know I think it would look very cool with the gold boots but I'm not sure if they're gonna do it because it is very comic booky and I think if they did the gold boots I don't think it would be like pure gold like in the comics I think it would be a bit more dingy a bit more dark and a bit more sort of gray and you know not be exactly the same so I wouldn't expect like oh straight out of the comic books or something like that but yeah what was said in the panel was to do with the fact that Grant really wants the gold boots and he's been saying that he said if it was up to him he would have done it like a few seasons ago and then Eric sort of proceeded to laugh I'm guessing we're gonna see the gold boots sometime in the near future I think that is the next upgrade before he gets like a new suit or something like that I think we will see the gold boots at some point because you know that is something that they put in the panel like on purpose because obviously like I said they edited it they chose the questions beforehand so you know I really think there is a chance I don't know how likely it is but I'm looking forward to it okay so let's move on to the last few things and these aren't as important things but they're still important as in regards to how season six was like and moving forward into season seven so the panel really really liked the two different storylines the graphic novel style of the season so this was a big thing that Eric emphasized at Comic Con last year I was actually at Comic Con at the panel it was really interesting listening to Eric talk about the way he wanted to do season 6 and I think it was very successful I don't think season 6 is the best season ever of the flash I still think 1 2 and 3 is better and 5 and then I think season 6 but that's not to say season 6 isn't good because I thought season 6 was pretty damn good for the most part and you know I think he is a very good showrunner and he has some great episodes scattered in there and maybe it's not like the strongest season ever but it's a very good season and it's still way ahead of season 4 which was just really bad but yeah the panelists like to you know the cast I think Daniel Panabaker and Candace Patton specifically mentioned that they really liked it that was briefly talked about in regards to season 6 and I believe they intend to do that for season 7 as well so we'll have to have a look and apparently you know in the panel they talked about how the fact that Iris got a lot more this season you know I think this season was pretty damn good for Iris and she got a lot of opportunities to shine as this ace reporter she had her own team behind her I think Candace Patton mentioned it was sort of like her own Charlie's Angels thought that was a good moment in the panel and then they moved on to talk about Kiss Kiss Breach Breach which was the Cisco centric episode and is going to be releasing on the Blu-ray and DVD for season 6 sometime like literally this week or something and so it's a black and white noir version of the episode which I thought was really cool and Carlos really liked it and then we moved on to talk about a bit to do with the new characters so you had Kayla Compton and you had Brandon McKnight who were very excited about being new series regulars and they talked about you know how they were a little bit intimidated joining the show joining the cast because they knew they were a big family before that's what they specifically mentioned and they're just very excited to continue with this so yeah that was most of the stuff that was talked about in the panel that was the most interesting stuff 
and I think I covered most of the stuff. Obviously, there's a few other things they talked about, but I think these were sort of the main points and then some extra points at the end that they talked about. So what do you guys think about all of this? Did you like DC Fandom? Did you stay up all night and watch it if you're from England or Europe? It was very late. It was like 2.30 in the morning in Europe and like 1.30 in England or something like that. Or did you just watch the trailers after? Let me know. But yeah, this panel was really good and I really enjoyed talking about it. I was looking forward to talking about that today. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment to support the channel. Also subscribe, share it around on social media so people can check out our new videos for season 7 of The Flash and everything else to do with DC TV and DC Comics in general. So I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.